Hello and welcome back to the channel, it's Echo Stretch. In this video we're going to check out remote play and how to get it working over LAN. But yeah, let's just jump right into it here. Um, first thing we need to do is just jump over to settings. Uh, if your account isn't activated, then you will need to get uh, goal 10. Regardless, you will need goal 10, but uh, yeah, we should, should be able to jump in there. And uh, we just want to check, connect, or sorry, enable remote play. Um, so yeah, just load up your favorite host. Go into our web browser here. I used uh, Caro's host, but you can use whichever host you wish to use. We'll go ahead and just load in here. Okay, and we'll just give it a few seconds here, and it shouldn't take too long, and we should get in. There we go. 50%. Okay, and you just go with the latest jailbreak. And we just need to run Gold 10 1.1 or whatever the latest version is at the time of this video. It's 1.1, but yeah. So let's just jump over to our computer and we'll go over a few things over there. Um, we are going to make sure that we do have an IP address so we need to have that. We'll just go view connection status and you can see that I do have an IP address there so we're good to go on there. You may be connected on LAN but I'm connected on Wi-Fi. Either way they both will work. So let's jump over to the computer there and we'll go from there. Okay, so now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and I will show you this here. I do have the latest version of Remote Play installed. I just want to show you what kind of error we do get if we go ahead and try to log in. We can hit PS4. Uh, we can go ahead and just hit the link manually. And we'll just wait for it to come up with a, a code to enter here. So we can go ahead on the PS4 and go into our settings, Remote Play, and then register a device. Okay, so if we jump into settings, scroll down to Remote Play. We'll go ahead and hit add device. It'll give us a code. So let's jump back over to the computer. We do have uh, 200, or well, 300 seconds to enter it, so we have uh, a little bit of time there. Okay, now that we're over to the computer, we can go ahead and just enter the, the number. Go ahead and hit link. We'll give that a few seconds, and there we go. This is the error that you get. So if you are getting that error, it just indicates that you are, yeah, the PS4 remote play is on a later firmware that it supports. It's uh, it's currently looking for the latest firmware, so we just need to downgrade our remote play to be able to use it on 7.55. So we can go ahead and hit OK on that. Uh, we can close that out. We'll just go into type here. We can type in settings, and we'll go down to apps, and we'll just scroll down. Should be PS4 remote play somewhere right here. There we go. Go ahead and uninstall it and say yes. As you can see, it's 4.5 that we're using, but uh, yeah, it's looking for the latest firmware, PS4 firmware, so we'll just go ahead and hit that, close out of there. Uh, we can download, we're going to need to download PS4 Remote Play version 3, as well as the the auto patcher. I will leave a link in the description, but if we open up our browser here, uh, this is for version 5.05 .05 Remote Play. I think it's like 2.6 it might be. It's uh, it's definitely an older version, uh, and then the patcher, the patcher link will just link us over to a GitHub site where we can get the auto patcher. Uh, I will leave a link in the description for version three, which is what will let us use Remote Play on 7.55. I think it works for 7.50 as well as 7.02 as well. Uh, you can leave a comment down below just to let me know. But yeah, let's go ahead and we'll install that. We'll just uh, right click on it, we'll run it as administrator, say yes, and we'll go through with the setup. Go ahead, accept. Okay, and we'll give it a few moments. There we go. So now we're just going to go with the, the patcher. And basically, all the patcher does is uh, once you enable or open remote play, it's always going to search for an update and it's going to want to update. So this here just kind of blocks that there. So we can go ahead and run that as administrator as well. And we'll go ahead and click me. Uh, you can do a backup if you wish, but uh, 
I have no need for a backup, so we're just going to hit uh, no. There we go. And once that's done, we can grab these files and just throw them in the recycling bin. Go ahead and launch it. Okay, and we're good to go. So we can go ahead and hit start. And it's going to ask us to sign in. I'm just going to block this out. Okay, I'm just logging in now. It's just uh, searching for my PS4. So we'll give it a few seconds here. Okay, and it just wants us to enter the code. So we'll do the same thing again. We'll go ahead and jump over to the PS4. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and click Add Device. And the same as before, we got 300 seconds to go jump over and add that. So let's jump right back. Okay, so I went ahead and added it already. We can go ahead and hit register. And we'll give it a few seconds here, and it should say connect into PS4. And there you go, we are logged in. Um, we should be able to use a USB cable if we go ahead and plug it into our computer. If you do have the USB cable with your PS4 controller, go ahead and plug it in. And it sh Windows should automatically detect it. I'm just going to go ahead and get mine plugged in here now uh, this will be the, the